It's a common injury in high-impact sports, especially among young athletes. Research conducted by the Brain Injury Association of Canada in 2010 showed an incident rate of hockey game-related concussions is seven times higher than previously reported in medical literature. So the importance of correctly diagnosing and evaluating patients with a concussion is more important than ever before. The importance of recognizing concussion and treating it is critical because the uh, opportunity to be re-injured is greater and the outcome of that more devastating if the person is not uh, taking the proper time to recuperate and to heal. Initially it was a thought that you had to have a loss of consciousness to have a concussion but that is not true. Um, so people can have concussion, it's more based on the number of symptoms that are present and then the severity of symptoms and then the duration of symptoms. Good. Researchers at the University of British Columbia's Okanagan campus are launching a groundbreaking study that should help ensure a safe post-concussion return to sports activity. This research, conducted in partnership between the Integrative Sports Concussion Research Group at UBC and Lifemark Health Sports Medicine Clinic in Kelowna, will take place over a 12-month period. This research is really important because um, I think our understanding of what goes wrong in the brain after a concussion is, is it's unclear right now. Um, I think the case of Sidney Crosby uh, in the NHL and several other high-profile players makes it really clear that we don't really understand what's happening in the brain and, and how best to help athletes uh, recover function after, after this injury, and then most importantly, when to make the decision to return them to play. There's a, a syndrome called second impact syndrome in which an, an, if an athlete has had a, a previous concussion and then gets exposed to a subsequent concussion, it can actually have quite severe consequences in terms of the ability of the brain to function. And in extreme cases, there's been a, a number of deaths associated with, with the second impact syndrome. So that really highlights the need to be able to accurately know when it's safe for an athlete to return to contact sports. I know that every coach out there is wanting more and more information because really you just don't know. If you break your arm, you break your nose like I have done a couple of times, you know that you're going to be out for a certain amount of time, but when it heals, you're ready to go. When you're dealing with concussions in sports and specifically hockey, you don't know. You're relying a lot on that player and I think the biggest thing is the player's peer pressure to come back earlier than when they should. Um, and that's just getting more education for the coaches, for the general managers, from minor hockey, but all the way up to the National Hockey League level. Researchers will have up to 90 recently concussed athletes between the ages of 14 to 25 complete a series of moderate to intense exercises over the test period. This research is uh, unique in that we're going to be using state-of-the-art tools to look at cerebral vascular function and then relating that to uh, neurocognitive function, show how the, uh, an athlete thinks and, and makes decisions about um, how to act. And so that relationship between how the uh, blood is flowing to the brain and, and being able to deliver the oxygen and the nutrients to allow the brain to actually function, how that relates to um, behaviors and, and deficits in behaviors following a concussion is, is something that hasn't been investigated at all to date. You're seeing more and more concussions coming out and from lighter hits. It's not so much harder hits, it's just how they're getting hit. So I think this is going to be a great study for everybody to take a lot of input from it and learn from it. We look forward to the outcome of the research and as a, a community organization that supports people and families and also tries to get information out to prevent brain injury, we're very delighted to have access to this information and to be able to help in any way we can with it.